Now, we've done the electron configuration. Now, you see these little boxes here? These represent the electron orbitals for each one of those um, sublevels that we have here. We're going to fill them in. We call these electron box diagrams. where we physically show the electrons within each one of these orbitals. Now, we're going to say we start out with 1s. How many does s hold? It holds 2. And remember, I told you they have to spin in opposite directions. One spins up, the other one spins down. That's 1s2. We can then move on to 2s following off bow principle because we have to fill in the lower orbital first before we move on to the next one. So this one also has 2, 1 up, 1 down. Now, in 2p, we have 5 electrons. But here's the thing. All three of these electron orbitals, all three of them are p, 2p orbitals. So they all have the same exact energy. Okay. And we're going to have to follow Hund's rule to correctly fill it out. Hund's rule states that electron orbitals that are degenerate, so remember that word, degenerate, are first half filled before they are totally filled. Degenerate just means that they have the same amount of energy. And we know that these three electron orbitals have the same energy because they're all two orbitals and they're all p orbitals. So they're all two p orbitals. So we're going to half fill them first. So we'd say up, up, up. You half fill them first. And you do this because they all have the same energy. Then you loop back around. Down, down. That's how you would fill out the 2p. So just remember that when you're dealing with degenerate orbitals, they have the same number, they have the same letter, therefore they have the same energy. You have fill them first before you totally fill them in. Come back around and start filling them down, pointing down. 1s and 2s are not degenerate. They may have the same letter, but they definitely don't have the same number. 1 is 1 and 1 is 2. Because they have different numbers, they have different energies. Okay. Now, that's the beginning of electron configuration, guys. There are different types of electron configurations that we're still going to need to know and master, but this is the beginnings of it. And remember, as long as you can follow either the periodic table version or the off bob diagram version, then you should be able to do the electron configuration of many different types of elements. So just remember, what does this periodic table version look like? And use it to answer those types of questions.